The Hargreaves are getting ready to return with another season. The last time we saw them, all of them had lost their superpowers, while Luther and Sloan were separated by death, probably. However, apart from everything, we want to see the sweet couple together. In this video, let's talk about how fans are hoping for a happy ending for Luther and Sloan. Let's get right into it. To start with, here's what the fans are hoping for. Remember the finale of season 3? How beautiful was Luther and Sloan's wedding, and how painful it was to watch them get separated? Well. Fans still have high hopes and want to witness the two together. In short, we want a happy ending which the Umbrella Academy must give us. Even though we all love the Hargreave siblings, we, for some reason, believe that the ones who deserve a happy ending the most are Luther and Sloane. Luther is the type of character anyone would fall in love with. He's been through a lot, and for a long time, his feelings for Allison kept him stuck in one place. But now he finally had someone who was actually interested in him. The two never expected a long marriage. They knew they didn't have enough time together, but fans still expected that the showrunners would have some mercy on them. Up next, the new universe might be a way for the two to have their happy ending. In season 3, all the Hargreaves had decided not to do anything about the Doomsday anymore and let it happen. While the world was ending, Sloane and Luther also agreed to at least get married before they died. It's not like they didn't know that this marriage would be very short-lived, but the thing that confused everyone was the absence of Sloane after all the Hargreaves landed in another universe. They had lost their power hours, but they were all alive. In fact, Marcus was also there. But where did Sloane go? That might be one of the challenges the Hargreaves will face in the upcoming season. Some fans are speculating that now that everyone is in a safe place, Sloane might also return. Well, we hope so too. But is that really a safe place? We have our doubts because none of them have their powers anymore. So if some apocalypse happens, how will they save the world? Or Sloane? Following up, here's why we think the two are meant to be. The two are pretty similar if you notice. Both of them were the victims of an adoptive father who never really catered to their emotional needs. In fact, it had such a massive effect on Luther that throughout the first season, we saw him trying harder than any other Hargreave to please his father. He wanted to make him proud and make his siblings return to the Umbrella Academy after they got separated because of Ben's death and Five's disappearance. You must remember, despite being number one, he's almost always mocked for trying to make Reginald happy, especially by Diego. Sloane, on the other hand, experienced something similar. If we look into her character, we can see the sheer desperation to be accepted and praised by the Sparrows. But instead, she was also mostly mocked for having a different opinion. Other than having a similar past, the two share a lot of similar values too. They are non-judgmental toward the people who have a different point of view of allegiance. They both long for companionship and have that love for adventure. This all makes us believe that the two are definitely soulmates and belong with each other. Not to mention, season 3 already set the show's ending. The third season was full of plot twists, and to our surprise, throughout the episodes, they were setting up the ending. This only came to our mind after Netflix revealed that the upcoming season would be the last. If you rewatch the season, you'll notice several factors that scream an ending coming soon. First of all, when the Umbrella Academy met the Sparrow Academy, we couldn't figure out a way for the two teams to work together. But by the end of season 3, the teams had their members get married to each other while Ben was okay with sitting with his rivals. We also wondered how they would handle that many characters characters. And boom, most of the Sparrow Academy was dead, leaving Ben and Sloane with the umbrellas. And the biggest plot twist also appeared in the same season, when the two teams realized their adopted father wasn't on their side, after he killed Luther and forced Allison into getting both teams to enter Hotel Oblivion. He just went on to reset the whole timeline. Not just that, he betrayed Klaus as well. So, we don't know what other plot twists could have made us more shocked than this. In short, the rivals worked together, extra characters were gone, and and the potential villain was also exposed. So yeah, that's enough holes for us to guess that next season will bring an end to our favorite show. From what we know, this might have been Reginald's plan. We think that Ben's death was one of the primary reasons why the Hargreaves had to go through all of it. With Ben gone, it's possible that Reginald didn't have enough people to reset the whole timeline. After all, he was the only member who had the same name and face on both sides. In fact, he had superpowers too, regardless of which team he was on. It could be that Reginald's purpose was to use seven members to reset the timeline, so he just made the Umbrella Academy go into a timeline where the Sparrow Academy ruled. All this to get Ben out of there and complete the seven members. This could also be the reason why we didn't see Sloane in the last timeline we witnessed. She should have been there because even the dead ones were present, so why wasn't she? From what we think, she did return along with them, but landed somewhere else because she wasn't the seventh member, and only the members were supposed to land in that specific place. But then again, 
again. Why was Lila not thrown somewhere else if that was the case? The situation is extremely complicated at the moment, and some of the fans even think that this might be a dream. Because how was Allison able to meet her daughter and Ray? Both of them existed in different timelines, didn't they? With that being said, they need to answer several questions before it ends. Before anyone gets their happy ending, fans need some answers that have kept them curious for so long. First of all, what does Reginald even need? Was he trying to revive his wife, whom we saw in the last shot? After all, he left his planet after his wife died. But before doing so, he released marigolds, which later caused unexplainable pregnancies and the birth of the Hargreaves' children. Another thing the show needs to answer is why he was involved with the Majestic 12. And what was the point of all those experiments he did on the children? And on top of that, if he only needed seven children, then why did he release 43 marigolds? Oh, and most importantly, what's with Pogo? Not just that, we still have no idea what happened to Ben in the first season. And why did the other Ben also know Jennifer? If you remember, Luther and Klaus also mentioned a Jennifer incident that was related to Ben's death. From what we know, it seems like he died while trying to save Jennifer. And most importantly, the following season must tell us what happened to Sloane and whether Luther will ever be able to meet her again. Another one that season three almost missed was number five, being the founder of the commission that creates those timelines. As if the whole show wasn't confusing, we don't even know his name. What is number five's real name? And lastly, is it really possible for all of them to have a happy ending? Luther and Sloane, yes, they totally deserve a happy ending. And they must get one in the next installment, because if they don't, we're definitely throwing hands. Besides them, we also want the other Hargreaves children to have happy endings. All of them grew up in trauma, never had a father figure, and didn't get a single break throughout their lives. They did find their happy places during the 60s, but even that was stolen from them. They deserve to be happy, but if they are to fight their villainous father, who's definitely not a human, there's bound to be some tragedy. Most fan theories suggest that one of the siblings might end up dead. Which one? We can't be sure because almost all of them can be highly sacrificial when it comes to helping their siblings. It's hard to guess what will happen next season because there's no comic material left that could be used as a reference. So all we do right now is wait for the new season. We're waiting for the release date, so let's see when it happens. And with this, it's time for us to wrap this video up fam. What are your thoughts about the video? Do let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We'll soon be back with more amazing videos. See ya in the next one.